do you see, where do you stand with um, all the issues that are taking place um, in today, uh, well, I should say more recently with the whole BLM movement, the whole police, uh, anti-police, um, anti-government almost basically, what, where do you stand with all that? Well, I mean, the thing is, is that, I mean, if you're going to burn down cities and defund the police, you're no friend of ours. I mean, these people are the same people that rigged an election, rigged an investigation, and rigged an impeachment process against the American people, and they lost all three. I mean, they voted for a guy named Obama not once, but twice, and he stole everything. That's why they were down on Epstein Island raping and eating those babies down there. Just look at the flight logs. They all knew who he was, what he did, where he did it. That's why they got on his plane to fly down there and do it with them. That's that's what the real problem is. It's pedophilia. And, and as soon as, uh, you know, everybody finds out that all these people are pedophiles, that's when the party really begins. Yes, we got to expose them for who they really are and right. show people, give people the truth instead of continuing. $5,000 worth of hot dogs. Please explain that to me. It's in their own emails. Well, well thank you for sharing that. No thank you for doing that. I had one question for you. Yeah. Why do you choose today not to wear a mask? Well, the reason why I don't wear a mask is because it's not easy being a trendsetter. You know, uh, it, you know people think it's easy. But uh, but it's not. I mean, it's a it's a hoax. Ninety nine point seven percent survival rate. Are you kidding me? I mean, you've got Bill Gates running around like a psychopath trying to cram his vaccine down my throat. And I'm doing just fine without it, Bill. Didn't you go down to Epstein Island yourself? I, you know, Epstein and Weinstein just doesn't sound like a Presbyterian problem to us. Well, thank you for sharing that. But of course. That does not go against <laughs> basic safety procedures that we should be doing on a daily basis, on a daily basis, washing your hands, staying at, at least as far as possible. Yeah. <laughs> if you ask off, I'd make out with you. <laughs> well, and uh, Stephen, it was so great talking with you. And thank you so much for your time. Right, and you. do you have anything else you want to say maybe to have a truck some yeah, or why you can't be out here? Absolutely. Stars and bars, red, white, and blue home team, man. It's Trump 2020. They're throwing an octogenarian at us, struggling with dementia, trying to hide liquor on his breath, dealing with a son who just got a stripper pregnant down in Arkansas, <laughs> cheating on his dead brother's wife. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for your time. You had a blessed day. Well, uh, he had a... Uh